good evening everyone in the previous class is discussion about what is the expression for current in a conductor that is the expression is i is the current electric current the expression is a n e v d this is the expression for current in a conductor a is the area of the conductor a capital a is called area of a the each end of a conductor n is the electron density small e is called charge of the electron v is sufficient d is called drift velocity that is vd is called drift velocity drift velocity drift velocity means the average velocity is acquired by the electron in presence of electric field the average velocity is is acquired by the electron in presence of electric field line is called drift velocity hmm? this is the i is equal to a n e v d is called this is called expression for current in a conductor and one more concept is ohm's law ohm's law what is the statement of ohm's law first what is the statement according to the law states that at constant temperature at constant temperature the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference now all physical quantities are constant that is the statement of a ohm's law hmm? according to the law states that at constant physical quantities physical quantity means there is a pressure or volume or temperature any one physical quantity at constant it means the constant temperature the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference that is v is proportional to i v is proportional to i or v is equal to r i where the capital r is called constant that is a constant capital r is a constant that is the the constant is called resistance resistance the resistance means the potential difference acting for any current the resistance is defined as the ratio of potential difference for any current is called resistance potential difference for any current is called resistance the si unit of a resistance is ohm that is delta ohm that is ohm delta delta is the symbol of the ohm this is the statement and explanation of a ohm's law and what is the limitations of ohm's law limitations limitations of ohm's law the limitations of ohm's law first point is the ohm's law is not applicable for semiconductors that is a the there are two different types of devices one is a ohmic device ohmic device second one is a non ohmic device non ohmic device it is a device it is a ohmic and non ohmic device it is both are uh, electronic devices ohmic and non ohmic devices means both are non uh, no that is both are electronic devices ohmic device means the ohms law is applicable ap applicable for only that is all. the only the ohms law is verified such sources that is called ohmic devices example the examples of the ohmic devices is voltmeter ammeter ha uh, voltmeter ammeter galvanometer hmm 
वोल्ट मीटर अमीटर गैलोनामीटर मिली अमीटर माइक्रो अमीटर दीज आर दी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ओमिक डिवाइजेस द ओमिक डिवाइजेस मीन्स इट इज ए ओमिक डिवाइस मीन्स इट इज ओनली अप्लीकेबल फॉर सम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइजेस ऑफ ए इन दिस लॉ दट इज कॉल्ड ओमिक डिवाइजेस ओनली अप्लीकेबल ऑफ ओम्स लॉ दट इज कॉल्ड ओमिक डिवाइस द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइजेस आर अप्लीकेबल फॉर ओम्स लॉ दट इज कॉल्ड ओमिक डिवाइजेस दट इज ओल्ट मीटर अमीटर गैलोनोमीटर माइक्रोमीटर मिलियामीटर these are all these instruments are used in the in this law ohms law and uh, second type is non ohmic device it is not applicable for ohms law ah uh, the not applicable for ohms law such electronic device such devices is called non ohmic devices such electronic devices is called non ohmic devices example transistors thermometers thermometers vacuum tubes vacuum tubes these elements are not used in the in this experiment now uh, ohms law experiment in this law not this electronic devices that is also electronic devices this electronic devices are not used in the ohms law such elements is called what non ohmic devices that is the difference between ohmic device and non ohmic device the ohmic device means it is the electronic device ohmic device is a, it is a electronic that is also device the elements some elements are applicable for ohms law that is called ohmic device non ohmic device means so it is not applicable for the electronic devices is not applicable for ohms law is called non ohmic devices example transistors thermometers vacuum tubes so these are the examples of non ohmic devices and what is the examples of ohmic devices there is a voltmeter galvanometer ammeter and milli ammeter micro ammeter these are the example like for examples of ohmic devices that is the difference between ohmic and non ohmic devices and uh, my question is what is the limitations limitations of a ohms law limitations of limitations of ohms law first first point is the ohms law is not applicable for semiconductor devices it is not applicable for applicable for that is what it is not applicable for non ohmic devices non ohmic devices such as superconductors sorry semiconductors semiconductors transistors thermistor vacuum tubes these are all this instrument is called non ohmic devices that is the one point it is not applicable for superconductors it is not applicable for superconductors super conductors that is the one point and third point is it is not applicable for vacuum tubes vacuum tubes vacuum tubes that is the third limitation and fourth limitation is it is not applicable for metallic conductors at very high temperature and very low temperatures it is the fourth point is it is not applicable for applicable for metallic conductors metallic conductors metallic conductors of a at very high temperature very high temperature and very low temperatures huh? these are the limitations of ohms law hmm? first point is it is not applicable for the non ohmic devices such as one is the semiconductor it is also not applicable for superconductors it is not applicable for 
vacuum tubes and the ohms law is not applicable for the metallic conductors at very high temperatures and very low temperatures this is the concept of ohms law what is the statement of a ohms law what is the explanation what is the equation what is the meaning of ohmic devices and non ohmic devices and what is the limitations of a ohms law okay this is the concept of ohms law the symbol of c resistance means it is a resistor capital r is equal to v by r that is a resistance resistance resistor Uh, resistance capital R is the symbol of V by I. The ratio of V by I is called resistance. The symbol of the resistance is the symbol of resistance is this is the symbol zigzag shape. The flow of charges that is a resistance. The number of charges is flows easily in this. Side. It is also electronic uh, device. Uh, this is also electronic. device and next concept is resistivity there is a sigma rho is the sigma not sigma rho rho or rho w resistivity what is the meaning of resistivity see the the any conductor this is the conductor conductor means the freely flow of charges the freely flowing of a charges that is called a conductor the resistance of a conductor is is directly proportional to the length and the resistance of a conductor is is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor that is the length of the conductor and area of a conductor combining uh, these two equations that is r is proportional to l by a r the r is equal to rho l by a where the rho is called constant the rho is called constant that is called resistivity ha huh? find out the resistivity the resistivity is equal to r a by l that is the equation of resistivity the resistivity means that is listen the draw the one conductor what is the length of the conductor what is the area of the conductor the resistance is, is directly proportional to the length the resistance is is directly inversely proportional to the area combining these two equations that is r proportional to l by a when you remove the proportionality then the symbol is called constant that is a resistivity or resistivity is equal to r a by l that means the what is the meaning of resistivity the resistivity of a conductor is defined as the resistance of a conductor for any length for any area the resistance of a conductor for any length for any area is called resistivity is called resistivity okay now that is the definition of resistivity the formula the resistivity formula is rho is equal to r a by l the rho is called resistivity capital r is called resistance of a conductor e capital e is called area of the each end of a conductor and l is a length of a conductor small l is called length of a conductor and what is the s a unit of resistivity s a unit s a unit means that is the international system the s a unit of resistivity the unit of resistance is ohm the unit of area is length into breadth the definition of area is length into breadth the unit of length is meter the unit of breadth is meter that is a meter into meter meter square the unit of length in meter 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 get cancel finally ohm meter delta ohm ohm meter that is a unit of resistivity that is the concept of resistivity my question is see this uh, 
important this uh, two marks question very important what is the factors of uh, resistance of a conductor what is the factors factors of resistance what is the factors of resistance first factor is the resistance of a it depends on the resistance of a conductor is depends on the length it depends on length of the conductor and it depends on the area of the conductor area of cross section of a conductor and the third point is it depends on the nature of the conductor nature of the conductor and fourth one is it depends on the temperature of the conductor temperature temperature these are the factors of resistance huh? there are four factors of resistance of a conductor one is the four one is the resistance of a conductor is it depends on the dimensions such as length length of the conductor area of cross section of a conductor and temperature of the conductor and it is also depends on the nature of the conductor these are the factors of resistance huh? very important this two more question is very important and one more question is how does the resistance of a conductor vary with length and area of a cross section how does the resistance of a conductor vary with that is vary with a its length and area of cross section the resistance of a conductor is length it is directly proportional to the length the directly proportional to the length of the conductor and this one is area is it is inversely proportional to the what that is a the inversely proportional to the area of cross section of a conductor that means the length is increases the decreases the area these are the the variation of a length and area length and area and how does the 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 some graphs graphs is there how does ah uh, that means draw the the graph which shows the variation of resistivity of a copper wire Copper wire. That is the what is the the draw the the graph in which shows the resistivity of a copper wire with temperature versus resistivity versus temperature. See the any resistivity is a, it is a physical quantity. Draw the graph. There is a x direction. There is the y direction. The resistivity is taken as a y direction. The temperature along x direction. the wire is a copper wire that means it is a curve shape it is a curve shape this is the shape of the wire ha huh? my question is draw the the graph which shows the variation of resistivity of a copper wire and temperature the graph shows it is a curve shape that means the curve shows that the temperature is increases and resistivity of a copper wire is also increases this graph shows the the resistivity of a copper wire is increases the temperature is also increases okay that is the first graph and second one is draw the the graph which shows the variation of resistivity of a nichrome wire resistivity resistivity of a nichrome nichrome wire nichrome or manganese both are same versus temperature versus temperature resistivity of a nichrome wire or manganese wire versus temperature huh that is a the resistivity along y direction the temperature along x direction the temperature along x direction that means the graph shows is a straight line the graph shows the straight line the curve this curve shows that the temperature is increases 
the resistivity of the nichromoil is also linearly increases increases linearly increases the linearly and one more graph is there draw the the graph of resistivity versus temperature of a semiconductor the resistivity along that is y direction the temperature along x direction the curve shows this type downward direction that means the curve shows that the temperature is increases the resistivity is also increases sorry the temperature is increases the resistivity is decreases the resistivity is decreases this is the variations of resistivity and temperature graphs variation of resistivity and temperature graphs next concept is conductance conductance the symbol of the conductance is capital g the symbol of the conductance is capital g the conductance means it is defined as the reciprocal of a resistance the reciprocal of resistance is called conductance the reciprocal of resistance is called conductance what is the unit of conductance the unit of resistance is ohm so one by ohm the one by ohm can be written as ohm inverse ohm inverse that is the conductance and conductivity conductivity the symbol of the conductivity is sigma 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 is the symbol of the conductivity the conductivity is defined as the reciprocal of resistivity the reciprocal of resistivity what is the symbol of resistivity that is the rho the reciprocal of resist the reciprocal of re what that is a, the reciprocal of a resistivity is called conductivity what is the si unit the si unit of conductivity is what is the unit of uh, resistivity that is 1 by the unit of resistivity is ohm meter is correct ohm meter it is a reciprocal it converts product that is ohm inverse and meter inverse ohm inverse and meter inverse that is the concepts of the definitions and si unit of a conductance and conductivity the symbol of conductance is capital g the symbol of conductivity is sigma the conductance is defined as the reciprocal of a resistance is called conductance the unit of conductance is ohm inverse and conductivity the reciprocal of a resistivity is called conductivity the unit of conductivity is ohm inverse and meter inverse that is the concepts of conductor ah uh, conductance and conductivity huh? this is the today class and uh, that is completely in this concept says depends on ohms law what is the first of all what is the statement of ohms law what is the explanation of ohms law and what is the meaning of ohmic and non ohmic devices what is the limitations of ohms law what is the factors of resistance and how does the resistance of a conductor vary with length and area and what is the meaning of resistivity and what is the si unit of a resistivity and what is the formula and what is the variations of our that means how to draw the the 
resistivity versus temperature the resistivity of a copper and resistivity of a nichrome and resistivity versus temperature for a semiconductor how to draw the the graphs hmm? and last concept is what is the meaning difference between conductance and conductivity and formula and s signs okay thank you